Hello everyone. I've been gone for a long time. Just sold my business. Um, and I've just been chilling out really. So I haven't really done any videos. But this one is a pretty cool one. So as you know, we've had the Mary Fisher now for about, I don't know, about a year and a year and a half. Um, I've, my dream was once we sold the business was always to get myself something a little bit nicer. Um, so that's where I'm taking you. So join us in a second and I'll show you exactly what I've bought. And there she is. So about two months ago, I should have really documented it all, but I was just so excited I never did. A Princess 42, 2006. The chap that I'd bought it off uh, back in November had had her from new. It's always been my dream to get something that I could take the family away for a long weekend week and actually be really comfortable on. So let's take you on board and I'll show you. Just dive swim. Ooh! Didn't sink. So I am absolutely in love with this boat. It's so cool. And just find the right key. There you go. Look at her, she is stunning. Let's get the lights on and I'll show you around. So this is gonna be the new Langer's Boat and Adventure boat. So we can do much further trips. We can go international. Mm, power points, battery charger, yes. Uh, all important. Stereo, neon lights out the back, obviously. Exterior lights. So, let me bring it around here. Look at that. She is absolutely stunning. So when I first got her, there was all the original nav equipment on it. So with the help of the guys at Night Marine, I had all brand new nav, Garmin, uh, autopilot, GPS, auto guidance. Let's switch it on. Show you. Mm. There you go. Yeah, so she's got full auto guidance, um, GPS, roof, roof finder, the lot, everything. Put all the new steering wheels on. Uh, I had the dashboard was. I don't know what had happened, but it got really sticky. It, I think it had just sort of melted in the sun um, over the years. So I had all of the dash wrapped by a company called Generation Graphics, did a great job, all the way over to the other side of the galley. I also had all of this done because it was sort of the old school wood effect. So I had all these panels taken out and had it all completely gloss black. The, my idea was is to have the dash look like a Range Rover dash so gloss black with the grey um, accent on the dash if I come down here I've had all the lights updated to LED let's just switch those on as well so it's a bit nicer there we go so yeah got all the TV hooked up as well um, got the uh, fire stick in the back of that connected to the Wi-Fi at the marina I've also got the latest Fusion stereo, which is also hooked up to the AUX on the uh, telly, so you can sit and watch films in proper surround sound. Proper surround sound. I'll take you up to the flybridge, and then we'll go and have a look at the bedrooms. <laughs> so yeah, so this is the new Langer's boat. Langer's boat and adventures boat. All the covers are off at the moment, but we've changed all the steering wheel at the top as well what a lovely evening this is Swanwick marina down on the south coast beautiful 
had the radar updated to the latest Garmin. Uh, the only thing I think is not working at the moment is the searchlight. I think it's just the bulb, so I'll get that sorted. Let's go back down below and I'll show you the bedrooms and whatever. So, engine bay is in here. Uh, I think I've just put the machine lights on. No, a few seconds. Bing. There you go, so there's the engine bay. It's got the Volvo Penta Tam D 75s, which are absolutely brilliant. And they've only done, we come down, there you go. So they've only done 406 hours since 2006. That's mental, so low. Uh, the raw water strainers. It's got a generator. That's a silencer for the exhaust. Uh, yep. Bought this table off of the internet thinking it was um, a teak table, but when it turned up, it was bamboo. I hate it, but fiddly D, I use it. I've paid a fortune for it. So let's go back inside and I'll show you. So the idea was, is I wanted a boat where I could properly go away and be comfortable on you know i've had cuddy cruises and things like that in the past but i wanted something that you could actually live on so if we go into this room first this is our little bedroom for our kids so they love it in here it is so cozy especially with the central heating i've put the diesel fired central heating into the boat because it wasn't specced with it um so i had that installed they've got their own little one suite so come through here, you've got a shower. And obviously it's a wraparound shower. Me being nearly 16 stone and five foot nine, there's a bit of a squeeze in there. So I tend to use the ones in the marina, but it's all right for the kids. Oh, bugger, I'll go this way. Let's smash the doors together. There you go. So this is Alex and mine bedroom. Or should I say where the magic happens? <laughs> Obviously not. Put the lights on. There you go. It's a really nice space. Let's get up onto the bed. There you go. Ooh, little alcoholic wave. So yeah, really cosy. Absolutely lovely in here. And when you've got that central heating on, it is beautiful. So, so nice. Come into here again, another ensuite, shower, sink, toilet roll, toilet. So, yeah, so that was it pretty much. I just wanted to give you guys a tour and explain why I haven't been around for a while. I got so excited with buying the boat, it was sort of my dream for the last 15 years to own a boat like this. So, I got so excited with it, I completely forgot to document any of it, but. Here it is. So it's time to go proper boating. The first trip we're sorting out is a trip to the Channel Islands. So obviously I'll take you guys along with me for that. So stick with me and I'll um, see you soon. Cheers, everyone.